All right, gather round. 16 curious things you've probably never had time to Google. So, why are plain windows rounded? Why are sneakers called sneakers? What is the right way to peel a banana? Ask a monkey. There are some things we do now and then without knowing the true reason behind them. Don't take them for granted. Check if your idea of what to do about them was right. But before we start, take a moment to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications to keep up with our updates. On from number 16. The hole between the camera and the flash on the iPhone. Well, this question has been bugging me for ages. Is that hole on the back of the iPhone a micro speaker, an air outlet, or what else could it be? In fact, it's a microphone to record sound while you use the rear camera to make videos. Plus, it helps to get rid of background noises to make your conversations nice and smooth. <laughs> Every word counts, right? Number 15. Slotted patches on some backpacks. These slotted patches on some backpacks are known as lash tabs. They're there so you can hang something from them. According to Jamie Cormack, the co-founder of Herschel, it was originally designed to carry an ice axe. Well, that's certainly handy. Webbing would go through the slots with the axe on it. A tension lock was used to secure it. Today, it's more of a way to pay homage to the good old Alpine backpacks. However, you can still use the patches to carry a bottle of water or whatever else you want to have quick access to. Number 14. Hole in the bottom of a padlock. Ever wonder what that little hole in the bottom of your padlock is for? The hole lets water drain out in case the lock is out in the open during rain. Secondly, this hole can also be used to oil the interior of the lock. Well, who would have thought? Number 13. The USB logo. Now, no one can imagine any electronics to be associated with water. But the USB logo has a subtle link to water. It is modeled after the trident of Poseidon, the god of the sea and other waters. Like the trident symbolizes power, the USB portrays itself as a technological power. The central arrow represents serial data. The circle represents the voltage that USB works on, 5 volts. And the square represents the ground voltage. Well, that's just too much information for me. Let's just plug and play, shall we? Number 12. Little block of color near the sealed end of a tube. These little marks, which you might have seen, are known as eye marks. They are there so that the machine on the production line, with the aid of optical sensors, knows where a package needs to be pressed, folded, or cut. The color of the eye marks is irrelevant as long as they are dark and distinct enough from the background color for the sensors to recognize them. Number 11. Why is there a stem on a wine glass? The stem on a wine glass is there so that the heat from your palm while holding the glass does not alter the wine's temperature. White and red wines, as well as rosé, should be served at the temperature of around 60 degrees. Sparkling wine is ideal at ice-cold temperatures of 40 or 50 degrees. There is no one ideal way of holding the wine glass, but if you want to look like a wine expert, you can try this. Grab the glass closer to the stem base between your thumb, forefinger, and middle finger. The remaining fingers will naturally find an ideal position on the base. <laughs> Number 10. What is a maple syrup jar handle for? So, why do these tiny, useless handles exist on maple syrup jars? Actually, they're reminiscent of a bygone era when maple syrup was packaged in 5-gallon jugs. These huge jugs had proportionately larger handles. But as the jars became smaller, so did the handles, just to retain the novelty factor. Number 9. I know you've been waiting for this one. The right way to peel a banana. Do you think you know the right way to peel a banana? Hit the like button if you're positive about it. Well, most of us try to peel a banana from its stem side and often end up smashing this side of the banana. So the right way to do it is known as, wait for it, the monkey method. And rightly so, because monkeys do it this way. And if it's good enough for the monkeys, it should be good enough for us. 
This method involves pinching the other side of the banana gently so that the peel opens up and you can then peel it off. By the way, here's a riddle. What's invisible and smells like a banana? Monkey farts. Well, <laughs> it got laughs in the third grade. <clears throat> Moving on. Number 8. Does Barbie have the last name? Barbie's full name is Barbara Millicent Roberts. Her parents are George and Margaret Roberts. And she doesn't come from Malibu, but a fictional place called Willows in Wisconsin instead. Now, given the fact that Barbie's official birthday is March 9, 1959, which makes her nearly 60 years old, it's helpful to know her full name and last name. You can now call her Mrs. Roberts, not Barbie. Pay some respect to the lady who's had over 130 careers and still has some great legs. Number 7. Who invented the fire hydrant? Yeah, here's a good one. No one actually knows who invented the fire hydrant, including the omniscient Google. This is because the office where its patents were being held burned down. Apparently, there was no fire hydrant nearby to save the patents from disaster. Don't you love the irony? Number 6. Does my poo impact the environment? Well, we all take it for granted and hardly ever think where it comes from. Yes, I'm talking about toilet paper. Nearly 30,000 trees are chopped down every day to meet the global demand for toilet paper. Wow! Around 50% of that huge amount of trees comes from areas where protected or even endangered species grow. Those trees could be a great help when it comes to slowing down the global warming and decreasing the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Add the harmful effect of chemicals used to produce toilet paper on the environment, and the amount of water and energy needed for the manufacturing process, and you might strongly consider using recycled paper. Or just using the same piece more than once. Number 5. Why are trailers called trailers if they're shown before a film begins? It's a good question. Trailers are shown at the beginning of a movie, so why are they called trailers? It's because, originally, they were shown at the end of a feature film screening. But the practice didn't last long because patrons would leave the theater soon after films ended. Number 4. Are croissants actually from France? Well, did you think croissants were from France? If yes, then you're not alone. Given the French name, it's obvious that most people would think they originated in France. But that's not true. Croissants actually hail from Vienna, Austria. They were created to celebrate the victory over the Ottoman Empire at the Battle of Vienna in 1683. The crescent shape of the croissant we all love wasn't chosen by accident. It looks like the central element of the Ottoman flag. Some people believe it was Marie Antoinette who brought the first croissants to Paris in 1770, but they only became popular in France in the middle of the 19th century. Number 3. Why are plane windows rounded? In the beginning, planes had square windows, but in 1953, two plane crashes occurred, and the square shape of the windows was found to be the reason for both. Where there is a corner, there is a weak spot. So, square windows having four corners have four weak spots, are highly susceptible to cracking under stress. Actually, the air pressure difference that the windows experience from inside to outside is enough of a stress. With this in mind, engineers decided to round the edges of the windows to distribute the pressure and stress evenly. Number 2. Who is sneaking? Otherwise, why are sneakers called sneakers? Well, sneakers actually have to do with sneaking. Back in Old English times, the verb to sneak meant to reach for something, and then the meaning of it changed to to creep, to crawl. By the mid-17th century, a person who was trying to slink would be called a sneak. It was a hard task back then because shoes were super loud and clunky. Rubber-soled shoes were invented and became instantly popular in 19th century England. They got their name because their soles do not make noise while walking. Shh. Number 1. I know you've been waiting for this. Why are the keys on the keyboard not arranged alphabetically? When typewriters were invented, 
they had keys arranged alphabetically. Due to the position of certain alphabet pairs – SH, TH, EA, EI, OU, and so on – the arms of the typist would get jammed if they typed too fast. So they simply moved the problematic letters around. And this is how the now infamous QWERTY layout was born. I think that's QWERTY interesting, don't you? So can you think of any other random things that are worth asking Google? Let's discuss them in the comment section. If you like this video, let us know by clicking the like button. We'll create another video when this one gets 50,000 likes. Oh, and don't forget to send the link to your friends who love trivia and subscribe to our channel. Life is 100% better on the bright side.